This is a summary of a presentation that I did on uh, residential solar roofing, and it's a summary. This isn't the entire presentation. We built this little mock-up in our yard. We put down four of the legs as if it were new construction, and you can do the same thing in a re-roof just by removing the shingles or whatever the roofing material is in the area that you're going to be installing solar. We use round legs. R round is way easier to flash than anything else. I recommend round. Um, you could mount this in the headlap, the top part of the shingle, but if it's already permanently affixed, you can uh, roof up to it, cut a slit on it. And I recommend lead pipe flashings, and I recommend larger than normal pipe flashings. I also recommend always using new roofing underneath this. Solar's design life is 25 years. If you use something other than a new roof, I doubt very seriously whether you're going to get uh, your design life out of your roof. And you'll be replacing it and removing the, the uh, solar also. Next shingle, just cut. Make sure you make a waterway uh, around the top of it. Please note the top of the flashing. We haven't done anything to that yet. We have to put something around that other than just a solar panel. Anyway, here's the National Roofing Contractors Association's uh, specification. This is available online, but this spec shows you what we did um, in the drawing. Here's the same thing for shakes. Note that the shake felt is interwoven. Always put your leg in the center of a shake. Always use round. Same pipe flashing. Note the fasteners at the bottom. They are neoprene headed so that they will uh, not leak later. Close up of the fastener. Always overlap your felts on, to the, on everything you do. Overlap the felt onto the uh, pipe flashing just in case water gets in, especially on shake and tile. But just in case water gets in, then it can get out and come out. Use a full shake behind. Make sure you leave a little bit of waterway on the sides for, for uh, pine needles, fir needles, leaves to get off the roof. And here's the NRCA specification. Okay, this is the same thing for a tile roof, but with tile you um, secure the whole thing to the, to the deck. Note that the uh, bottom of the pipe flashing is going onto a full thing of felt. We're putting felt over the top of it. Put your tile on, that way any water that gets in can come out onto a full piece of felt. You cock the heck out of it so the you know, water can't get in there. And there's the flash band. It has a release thing on the back. You pull it off and it sticks right to there. And the, you know, the full solar panel will counter flash it, but you need something to, for the top of the lead flashing. Once again, the NRCA specification. This is for low slope roofing, and that's a pipe on a piece of uh, fire resistant paper. Make sure you have to have your fire ratings, it has to be a minimum UL class B. There's the single ply TPO roof cut out to go on uh, right over the top of your, flat, of your pipe. You clean it off with uh, acetone, and you get a factory boot to go over it. And you're double blind cocking this too. You fill the inside of that boot with uh, silicone or caulk or, you know, man you make sure you use a manufacturer's product because we're having compatibility problems. And then you put a uh, stainless steel band around the top to seal it forever. And here's the specification for that. Same thing, just NRCA specifications. Here's another specification for the same thing. Here's a piece of modified bitumen. You know, may know it better as torch down. When you put your lead flashing on this, you have to primer it. You have to nail the heck out of it on four inch centers around the outside. Here's what the finished product looks like after you put your uh, granulated cap sheet on it. Um, you just have this bleed out around the perimeter and you've got to put some, a piece of flash band around the edge of, the, uh, of this also. There's a commercially available donut. These are, these are neoprene, and they're made to replace um, pipe flashings that when they wear out. If you really want to 
do a belt end suspenders, you can slip one of these things over it. Do not use the galvanized uh, pipe flashings on any of these roofs with the uh, neoprene, uh, neoprene collars. They will not last as long as your solar system. Same thing in RCA specifications. Metal. Here is the SMACNA, the sheet metal uh, manual. Uh, it's the top one. It's kind of hard to understand, and that's totally custom fabricated in a sheet metal shop. Here's another option, and with th this is the option I'd recommend, and you, I really, really, really stress putting this pipe, putting your leg down in the center of a panel. Here's just a couple of projects we did on solar. This is the uh, Allison project in Newburgh, Oregon. This is a recycled um, plastics roofs called EcoStar. This is a totally LEED certified building. We also flashed in the uh, fall protection. There's a close up. You can see that that's flashed, counter flashed, sealed. That'll last forever. Same project. Panels are going on in the racking system. Same thing. View from a distance looks great. Um, this is a Walgreens in Portland. We did several Walgreens. This is not a new roof in, uh, underneath it, but we did put uh, strips underneath it so that the strips would last longer than the roof. This is not a good application. Note the ponding water. Uh, this roof will absolutely no way last as long as this solar system will. But Walgreens didn't want to spend the money on a new roof, so we band-aided it. End of presentation.